I love that the crew could come together. It sounds corny to say, but we were more than just a team, we were a group. We were making this film together. When you have a beautiful, comfortable environment, then the actors could go to Mars and back. When you have an environment which is safe, which is caring, you can feel free to do what you want to do. We are together. Everyone can take risks, share their opinions, and come together as a real team. Each of those three people, Sean Bobbitt, our DP, and Patty Norris, our costume designer, and Adam Stockhausen, our production designer, were so critical to this movie getting on its feet. Patty, she's just unique. What she would do was go to each plantation and get soil samples and look at the clothes that each plantation would wear. That's the amount of detail she got into it. actual place where something happens, then every frame you set up has a truth to it. This film, it just had to feel true, but it also had to feel beautiful. We didn't want to layer the horrors of slavery with the sort of dirt and mud and everything else, because the reality is the locations are really quite sumptuous and would be unnecessary to make it look bad. It's simply the contrast between the beauty of nature in which they all existed and the horror of the world and lives that they had to live through. Steve shoots very, very simply with Sean and often he allows things to breathe. It doesn't mean to say that it's ever slow because it's not. There's a tension which is very, very carefully managed and there are many examples where a shot is held long and I believe it just gives the audience time to really feel things and develop a relationship with the film, which they're not allowed to do when you bombard them with images. God damn you, I thought you know something. I did as instructed. If there's something wrong, it's wrong with the instruction. Adam Stockhausen, he's just talented, and it's all about detail with him, and the feel. He's an artist, and just like Patty's an artist. We looked at a lot of plantations and then we narrowed it down to, you know, our handful that we're actually shooting. I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Ford's Plantation, it's still owned by a family that works farming and they actually farm sugar cane. And that servant that don't obey his Lord shall be beaten with many stripes. That's scripture. Epps Plantation also feels very much like a working farm, but it's very gritty and it's very hard out there. And everything just felt very gray and very rough. Listen up, you're Judge Turner's for the season. Turner's Plantation feels very sheltered in and the whole feeling of the place is less vast and more insulated. Glad Epps, good Sunday morning. Good morning, Master Shaw. Master sent me to retrieve Patsy, may I approach? You may. And Shaw's plantation is sort of this relief for Patsy where she's treated like a, a human being and it's beautiful. This is nice. They all had their own identity and we had some visual separation between them. The look of the film and the look of the set and the look of the costumes, for me, everything was about being connected to Solomon. And so everything assisted that journey for me and just allowed me to have a sort of way into this world. I felt that very deeply. If you want to survive, do and say as little as possible. But I don't want to survive. I want to live. We are together. We know each other. There's a kind of a community. And then you can actually do the actors and everyone can take risk of share their opinions and come together as a real team. It's great. <laughs>